All right, with Tess Heckworthy here after the final round of the first stage of LPGA Symmetra Tour qualifying. It's all over now. Two, two rounds here on the Dinah Short course, including this final round here where it looked hard out there it, yeah. and it looked hot and it looked like, you know, as tough of conditions as you could get. Describe mm -hmm. what it was like and how you felt you handled it. It was tough today. The course was playing. I mean, they had really good pins out there for mm -hmm. us and not a lot that you could go at. Um, thankfully, I had some decent clubs in where I, I was able to get at a few. Um, it was humid today, which we really haven't seen at all this week. So it was a little bit different conditions to manage. Um, but I think I handled everything pretty well. You know, I gave myself as much opportunity as I could. I'm really pleased with um, the positions that I put myself in. I just didn't get everything to drop, unfortunately. Start with a bogey. I'm sure it's not the way you want to start. You come back with a birdie. So you fought the entire week, didn't you? Yeah. It, my first goal when I came here this week was to par the first hole. That's all <laughs> I wanted to do. And then I was really pleased after all three days because I knew that I parred my first hole of all three rounds. And unfortunately today that's not the start that uh, I had, but um, I was able to stay mentally tough and, and bounce back. Um, I, I mean, like I said, I gave myself really good opportunities today and unfortunately the chips just didn't fall. Did you uh, reach double digits in terms of number of uh, lips burned over the <laughs> three or four days? Yes, most likely did. Especially, you know, they have the same cups all mm -hmm. week long here. And so when you get to day two and day three at some of these courses, the Bermuda grass really starts to um, kind of affect the way the ball falls. And um, yes, I burned a lot of edges. <laughs> and um, so what, you turned and went over bogey 10 and mm -hmm. then, you know, you could have gone, you know, a couple different directions, and and especially this deep into the tournament, this hot out there. What what did you do to kind of, you know, refocus, and then you part every hole after that? Yeah, um, you know, two days ago, I got into kind of a a doubting state, and I felt that uh, after I turned and I bogeyed, I kind of started to go that way again, and so. Um, before I teed off on 11, um, I made sure to take a deep breath and just kind of remind myself where I was. Um, I mean, not a lot of people have the opportunity to be here and to play here, and I was super thankful for that. And um, just to seize the moment. And um, I think I did that on the back nine. And, you know, some days the, the putts don't drop, but I'm really right. pleased with the positions that I put myself in to give myself those opportunities. And you scrambled real well. I mean, you you, you, you always, you know, your, your par saves, you know, the few that you had that weren't greens and reg, mm -hmm. you know, you, you executed those probably as, it would have probably made Larry smile, right? Is that the kind of thing? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Someday I'll make him smile. <laughs> no, uh, actually, when I birdied the... Uh, Par 5, 11 today, which was my second hole, I thought of Larry. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, he always gives me crap if I ever bogey a par 5, so. Aha. Uh -huh. Birdied one today. But nice. um, anyways, what was the? Well, just, I mean, you, 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 it looked as though you executed shots well. And yeah. you looked like now you're more comfortable when you are in quote unquote trouble. Yeah. You're, yeah. Nobody's panicking out there. You're dadding yourself or mm -hmm. you're, you're thinking through the shot and mm -hmm. then you go out and execute it. And it must be at some level, even though it's frustrating to be in that spot, it must be fun to be able to, you know, go out there, and especially in these conditions, and, and save that par. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, even even on 10, when I hit it right there and I had to punch it out, I still hit a good shot up by the green. I hit it right where I wanted to to give myself a chance to get up and down. Um, and hole number set, our 17th hole, hole number 8 today, um, I had to go for that pin. I mm -hmm. knew that I needed to to get after that and you know I missed it a little left got an unfortunate bounce but um, I still had a good opportunity um, to get up and down there so yeah I, I feel really really comfortable in those situations because I know that I uh, my game's mature enough to kind of handle um, situations like that and I've played a, a lot of golf so I've been I've been there before so it's not 
Um, in a lot of these situations, it's not the first time that I've had to hit a shot like that. So we're, we're to the end of it. We, you know, and you're in the early draw. You really won't know where things stack up until much later today. Yeah. Whether you know that uh, what is it, top 75 and or is that the uh, 95, 95 in ties. And ties? Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting at 296. I'm not quite sure okay. where that puts me though. Sure. I mean, do you have? I mean, as you look back on it, I mean, could you have asked for a better week? Probably not. No, I mean, it, this was an awesome week and a really cool opportunity for me, and I, I enjoyed every moment of it. There were, there were some tough times, but um, when you go through a week like this, there are going to be those times, and it's, I think, how you manage them is the outcome you're going to get. And, um, I'm just really happy that I came here this week. Um, to be able to experience this and to play with a field mm -hmm. um, that's here. I, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. Anything changed in your thinking about what all this means now versus when you arrived here? And, you know, in terms of looking down the road, I mean, does this, I, I, you thinking more seriously, less serious? I mean, how do you, how does this week impact maybe what you might do with this opportunity? Yeah, I, I definitely have a lot more hope for myself and my game. Um, I had a lot of questions going into this week, so um, this gave me a lot more confidence in my game, definitely. Um, but I think right now the focus is just uh, my team mm -hmm. back home and my senior season, and uh, we'll kind of revisit these decisions um, later on. You've won a bunch of state opens, but does it feel like you scored a, a personal victory here this week in the way you played and the things you learned? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I um, didn't have a whole lot of expectations for myself. Um, I know I wanted to be to be tough out there and I wanted to, to go and compete, but I wasn't really sure what to expect as it was my first time coming out here. But um, I'm really happy with the way that things played out. I know a couple days could have gone a little better here and there, but um, for the most part, I'm really pleased. Well, good luck and uh, have fun this fall with the, with the Badgers and hopefully you're able to use this as an opportunity to you know make all those tournaments feel like a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you.